And welcome to another edition of Seven Questions With, brought to you by Jersey Mike's Always a Sub Above. Kevin Williams on the Shore Sports Network. And continuing our series in which we want to chat with all the new head coaches in the Shore Conference before the football season kicks off. Uh, today, we're chatting with Matt Martin, first-year head coach at Tom's River High School South, longtime assistant with the Indians, and uh, got the call this uh, spring and, and was named the head coach of Tom's River South, uh, ironically succeeding his uncle, or Ron Signorino uh, Jr., who had uh, been at the helm for 11 seasons. So, Matt, first of all, welcome, and uh, good to chat with you. And I guess I'm going to start... Um, it only seems natural that there would be a day uh, when you would be the head coach at South. I mean, it's your alma mater. Your grandfather, Ron Signorino Sr., was a legend there. Your uncle ran the program for more than a decade. I'd assume you could have been certainly in the running for a head coaching assignment somewhere else, but was this a case of you waiting because this was the job you always wanted? Uh, first, Kev, thanks for having me on. Uh, and uh, yeah, as far as Tom's River South, Tom's River South has had a special place in my heart since I was playing there. And uh, even when I played here, my grandfather you know, was my head coach and my uncle uh, was my position coach as a quarterback's coach when I was at South. Uh, but, you know, I broke my leg my senior year and um, the coaching staff as a whole, my grandfather, Coach uh, Sig Jr., uh, Walt Curry, Brian Wilkinson, uh, those guys that were on staff, you know, welcomed me into the coaching world by letting me sit in, you know, on how to diagram X's and O's versus, you know, the opponents that week. And that's kind of where I fell into love with coaching um, in general. And then to go to Monmouth and then get out of Monmouth, have the opportunity to coach at East and Donovan under Coach Duddy, and then, you know, have the opportunity to come back as an assistant at South. Once I was back at South, you know, I kind of figured, you know, this was going to be, or I hoped it would be my landing spot because, uh, you know, I remember walking in with Brett Hardy, one of my best friends from high school. We both returned to South to coach football uh, that same year in 2011. And uh, we walked down B-Wing and we got about halfway down B-Wing and we were like, holy geez. You know, we looked at each other like, do you remember when? And all the flashbacks of high school uh, kind of hit us right in the face. Um, and, you know, it's been a great experience being back there, working with the teachers and the administrators in the building. And of course, working with the Tom's River South kids. So, uh, 100% in my heart of hearts, uh, I wanted to be able to take the opportunity or have the opportunity to coach at High School South, uh, and I am ecstatic uh, for the opportunity this season. Now, while there is this is your first head coaching assignment, you were both an offensive and defensive coordinator uh, during your seasons at South. Does that give you a bit of an advantage maybe other, over other rookie coaches to have been on both sides of the ball running that? I think it gives me some unique perspective because when the uh, defense coordinator is complaining about, you know, why are you going for it on fourth and six from our own 45, I understand his argument in the same, you know, regard from the offensive coordinator when he's complaining to me, you know, about some situational things. Uh, you know, I think it gives me a unique perspective. I also know, you know, kind of what goes into the planning purposes. So I, I think that I, I've been a pretty good outlet uh, to both of those coordinators. So I think there's definitely some advantages uh, in, the continuity of how things uh, will run on game day. And then even at this point uh, from a week to week or a day to day standpoint, you know, when things should be installed in my opinion, or when things should be run in my opinion uh, in practice. And I have, you know, some unique perspective on that uh, to be able to share with my coaching staff, um, you know, who has a ton of experience, but, you know, I think they, they understand that I've been in the shoes of on, you know, the, on the opposite foot and, you know, they're willing to ask for help. You know, uh, and kind of jump right in, you have surrounded yourself with assistants who in many cases have stayed at South and others who actually have returned. Is that familiarity important to you as a first year head coach? I think uh, in, in part, you know, there's a couple guys on staff, you know, that I haven't coached yet with. Uh, Rich Stratton, I haven't coached with. I've known for quite some time. And he was actually one of the assistant coaches during the All Shore game when I was I had the opportunity to play in that. Uh, obviously, we've been in the same building for the last 11 years. Uh, Darius Hart, we've not coached together, although we did, I did coach him when he was at High School South. You know, so there's some there's some things or some guys uh, that we haven't sat in a coach's room and you know diagram stuff up and talk about personnel and all that kind of stuff. But there's definitely a familiarity when it comes to Billy Rankin as the offensive coordinator or Kyle Austin as the other co-offensive line coach. 
Uh, Bill McDonald helping out on both sides of the ball when he was, you know, he spent three years with us at High School South previously. Joe Kelly's been with me 11 years uh, and at High School South as an assistant. He was two years at Donovan. So, you know, he's, you know, kind of, um, you know, he's kind of just been everywhere I've been and he's been somebody to lean on. You know, Vinny Arminio, it's his second year now at South. I also coach basketball with him or in his program for uh, the winter. You know, so we know each other very well. Having the familiarity makes things easier for me, uh, but most importantly, whether it's, you know, Tom, you know, Tom Malik, uh, me, Billy Rankin, Kyle Austin, Joe, we're all South guys. You know, th these are guys that, you know, knew what it was like to walk in the hallways. They know how electric it can be uh, when Tom's River South is good in the hallways and the tone that we can set for the school year, you know, as we start in September. It kind of leads me right into my next question is, what kind of program do you want to run? What do you want alumni like yourself and others to say about the Indian program? I think when you look at it, uh, I think there's, it's probably twofold. One, on the football side of things. Uh, just on the football side of things, you know, when we talk offense, we want to be an explosive offense. We want to be an exciting, you know, team to come watch when we have the football. From a defensive standpoint, you know, really not anything different. We want to be exciting. We want to create tackles for a loss. We want to create turnover situations. Uh, we want to be able to, you know, block punts, return kickoffs. We want to have uh, things that, you know, are going to be explosive plays, both offensively, defensively, and special teams, opposed to uh, a more methodical team, so to speak. We want to try and do our best uh, to put our kids in positions to have explosive plays. I think the second fold or the second point uh, from a program standpoint, you know, what are the kids like in school? And we have to, you know, we have to continue to work, you know, with some of our student athletes to understand that they are in fact student athletes and that, you know, athletics are important. Uh, and hopefully the things that we are teaching you in athletics, you know, are gonna come, uh, come in handy when it comes to the classroom. So that when you leave high school South uh, and you become an alumni, you can say, you know, Tom's River South taught me that hard work and discipline, uh, being on time, um, you know, having, you know, having to pull up, you know, pull up for somebody else uh, who isn't necessarily doing their job because they're having a rough day, having their back. Uh, and being a good teammate and have those things uh, kind of correlate as we go or extrapolate, you know, years out from now, that would be something, um, you know, that I think is important to have uh, because then it, it continues to have the alumni involved and the alumni are going to come back, you know, to make sure that, you know, the kids that are in the program, you know, are benefiting the way they need to. You know, I'm not looking for you to share uh, program secrets, but it does look like you're planning on changing up the offense and defense a little bit in terms of formations this year. Yeah, we'll be a, uh, on offense, uh, we'll be a, a more spread-based team, uh, you know, from an option, you know, I, everyone has, I guess, uh, thought about Tom's River South as a, you know, flex bone, triple option team. Yep. And, uh, that isn't necessarily how we're going to line up. There will be options still involved in our, in our game and a variety of ways from the offensive standpoint, you know, because at the end of the day, 11 on 11 football is much, much more difficult to defend than 10 on 11 football. And if our quarterbacks just handing the ball off the whole time and not a force to be reckoned with in the run game or not able to throw RPOs and things like that, you know, the offense has diminished itself to 10 versus 11 in the run game. So, or in the, uh, on the field. So we want to make sure, you know, option football still remains part of Tom's River South. Uh, we want to, you know, just incorporate a few more things and a few more wrinkles. And then from the defensive side of things, um, you know, early in the off season, you know, we had gone through our personnel um, and we just thought that, you know, that we needed to be, you know, some changes, uh, not just because of our personnel, but that definitely contributed to it. Some of the things that we struggled with during the season, um, excuse me, uh, we had, you know, me and uh, Coach Arminio, Coach Kelly, uh, Coach Dempsey, you know, had talked about a couple of different things and sure enough, uh, we were planning to move in that direction, and now Vinny will be able to take over, you know, with those plans as we move forward. And we'll be more of a uh, triple stack team with less defensive linemen on the field and, you know, more athletes on the field. All right, shying away from the hardcore football stuff for a second. While I know your wedding was planned long before you were named head coach, you did just get married in July. And is your wife now prepared for her new life as well? We were actually at another wedding uh, this past weekend, and one of the guests at the wedding got into conversation with her, uh, and she said, oh, congratulations, you're now a football widow. And that said person walked away, and my wife was kind enough to say, 
what did she mean by football widow? And I said, it's football season. So you would be alone. She goes, Oh, that does make sense. I was like, what was going on? Uh, but no, she's been, she, she, we've been together for a while. She knows what I've put in, you know, time-wise football, uh, in football season. Uh, and you know, to be honest, I do it again in basketball season. I do it again in track season. So, uh, she knows that it, you know, for the most part, uh, I I'm out of the house by six 30 in the morning and I'm usually not home, you know, much before six o'clock or six 30 at night. And that's the way it is. Uh, she's been great. Uh, and the wedding was, uh, more was, was the best. I could have ever imagined to be. I mean, it was better than I imagined it to be. And I, I, I'm thankful it happened. And uh, we look forward to a long, a long time together. Oh, I'm sure you will. All right. So I got one more for you. Players usually get butterflies, especially before the first game of the season. It's natural. Have you given thought to what it will be like for you to run onto the field at Detweiler Stadium for your first time as a head coach? when the opponent just happens to be another Tom's River school in yeah, Tom's River so, East. I'm sure, uh, you know, I'm sure it'll be very similar to my playing experience or my coordinating experience in that, you know, leading up to those big moments, you always have goosebumps, you always have butterflies. And then once it kicks off, you kind of get into the swing of things. You know, the first bad call that a ref makes, you know, I'm sure that, you know, that'll kind of settle me in or the first big play that one of our players make, that'll be the thing that settles me. And, you know, I have a little bit of experience. Uh, it won't be the same as what it was this year. Uh, during the COVID season, Coach Sig went down with COVID leading into our opening game versus Tom's River North. And uh, we were able to pull off, you know, the upset that night uh, through, you know, through quite a bit of preparation throughout the summer or summer slash fall because of the way that that worked out. Yeah. Um, but there were, yeah, it was a limited crowd. There were 500 people at that game. You know, Detweiler this on September 1st, I'm sure will be a zoo. Uh, and it'll be a little bit different, a little bit louder. Um, but we'll handle it, you know, we'll handle it well because, you know, I know that I'll be able to lean on the players. I'll know I'll be able to lean on the coaches uh, when, when needed. Matt Martin, you have certainly put in your time as an assistant coach and uh, ready for this uh challenge because it is a challenge for everyone uh and uh i appreciate the time you gave us and i wish you nothing but the best and i'm sure the wigwam will be uh, jamming for the season opener no question about it can't wait i can't wait and i i would like to it's a challenge for everybody uh well, no doubt about it i appreciate you saying that because uh you know it's not a, it's not an easy job uh but most coaches relish the opportunity of taking it on we at Tom's River south will do the same Best of luck as a head coach and best of luck as a newlywed. Thanks, Kev. Appreciate it. That is Matt Martin, our guest on uh, Seven Questions With, brought to you by Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. We'll have more conversations with the new head coaches in the Shore Conference in the days and weeks ahead. Thanks for watching and keep it here all football season long on the Shore Sports Network.